Hey you guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel, Peterisms, where I tell stories of my life and just little things that I have learned as I have grown into the person that I am today. And many of you might know this, I don't know, um, if you watch my vlog and things like that, but um, we are currently in Mexico for vacation. So uh, I am pre-filming some videos over here, sitting here today, just bumping out video after video. And um, I wanted to film one last video for the New Year's. Now I will say um, that I'm not gonna film any more Peterisms videos until we get back. Um, back in the day, I used to film like eight videos in a row and I'd just be like so exhausted and I'd be like, okay, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, I just wanna film one last video going out of 2022. Um, 20, 2022 has been a year for me of a lot of uh, growth and a lot of learning, a lot of difficult times, a lot of really, really hard times. Um, I hope that um, I've learned and I've grown as a person as a result of that. Um, and uh, so I wanted to read, you know, a meditation or two saying goodbye to 2022. So I went into the Melody Beatty books and I looked at the final two meditations for uh, the year on December 31st. And from the Journey to the Heart, the, the last one is called Honor the Ending. And from the language of letting go, it is called Affirming the Good. So I think I'm gonna start um, and I don't know if I'll read both of them, but I think I'm going to start with uh, Honor the Ending from Journey to the Heart, because I really like the uh, title of that. All right, December 31st, Honor the Ending. How was your trip, a friend asked, as my trip drew to a close. I thought for a moment, then the answer came easily. It had its, it had its ups and downs, I said. There were times I felt exhilarated and sure I was on track. Other days I felt lost, confused. I'd fall into bed at night certain that this whole trip was a mistake and a waste. But I'd wake up in the morning, something would happen, and I'd see how I'd been guided all along. The journey of a year is drawing to a close. Cherish the moments, all of them, even the ups and downs. Cherish the places you've visited, the people you've seen. Say goodbye to those whose journeys have called them somewhere else. No, you can always call them back by thinking loving thoughts. No, all those you love will be there for you when you need them most. Honor the lessons you've learned and the people who have helped you learn them. Honor the journey your soul mapped out for you. Trust all the places you've been. Make a scrapbook in your heart to help you remember. Look back for a moment. Reflect in peace. Then let this year draw to a close. All parts of the journey are sacred and holy. You've learned that by now. Take time to honor this ending, though it's never really the end. Go to sleep tonight. When you wake up tomorrow, a new adventure will begin. Remember the, last, remember the words you were told when this last adventure began. The words whisper, whisper quietly to your heart. Let the journey unfold. Let it be magical. The way has been prepared. People will be expecting you. Yes, you are being led. Um, God, I got so emotional reading that just because I think it has been, you know, I mean, it has been a year for me. And, um, it's been a year. I actually was thinking, I don't know why I was thinking this, but I was like think, thinking of all of my sessions that I've had with my therapist throughout the year, you know? I don't even remember when I started seeing him, but all of the challenging things we've talked about, all the difficult things we've talked about. You know, and um, he was saying something to me recently about, um, he said, you, you've really been through so much. And I said, yeah, I know this year has been like, you know, a tough year. Yeah, I'm not the only one. The other people out there have gone through really tough times too. And he goes, I'm not talking about just this year. I'm talking about in your life. You know, you've had some really, like in your life, you've had really hard things that have happened. And he said, you know, you rarely acknowledge um, how far you've come. And um, I think it's, it was an interesting comment because I'm a believer in being proud of yourself. I'm a believer in, I'm not a believer in being an egomaniac or giving huge pats on your back, but I am believer, a believer in acknowledging your own growth or lessons learned or how far you've come. 
But you know, the, and we ended up talking about like, you know, just in things that I've gone through growing up in school and getting sober and difficult times I've had in difficult relationships and on and on and on, you know, just this past year and things like that. And um, the thing is, I've always said this, I've said this for years that I believe that life is about the bitter and the sweet and that we wouldn't really truly know um, how great life is. I mean, I know, and I have friends of mine even, that every single time I talk to them, it's just misery and woe. Like, all they ever talk about is how bad their lives are. And typically, there are people that I know that don't really have that bad of lives. They actually have it pretty good. I know some people that have really, like, bad circumstances. You know, I have people that, that I know in my life that just, I mean, I have a few people in my life right now that I feel like just keep on getting hit over the head, over the, you know, just it's constant, you know, what they're dealt, what they have to deal with. So then to have people that just, they don't really ever acknowledge the good that happens in their life. And I am so thankful of that, that I feel that that has been one of the lessons that I've learned all along the journey is to acknowledge the good and the bad, you know, that, you know, and it, it, not even really bad, I guess, you know, maybe, the tragedy with the, the, the happiness or the lessons with the journey. I don't know, you know, how to look at it, but you keep learning, you keep putting one foot in front of the other and maybe you got a chance. Maybe eventually things will be okay, you know? People ask me a lot, they're like, you know, you post so many videos or you get up every single day and I'm like, I love this. This is what I love to do. You know, I read my meditation books and People comment below, I really needed to hear this today, or this really helped me, you know? To think that me reading some silly book, you know, it's not a silly book, but you know what I mean. Me reading a, a book on a video that makes somebody think in a different, I didn't do that, Melody Beatty did that. I just read the meditation and talked about it. You know, the, the fact that somebody out there thinks about something or looks at something in a different way, that's the power of you. You have that power. You did that. You changed within yourself. You changed your perspective. You changed the way that you are looking at the world. That's all you're doing. And no matter what you're going through at this end of this year, going into 2023, you absolutely have the power to change your perspective, to change your, change your circumstances. You know, this is the one thing. And I think most people know I learned this profoundly this year. Our lives can change on a dime in a way that we don't ever expect. But to look at that and to look at what you go through and to look at your perspective differently and to look at gratitude in a completely different way. You know, gratitude has been something that I've like clung to this year, you know, or to my faith that I have clung to this year or just, you know, on and on and on. It's just like, I feel like I have so much to be grateful for. And, um, you know, I don't ever want, to, I think like, even when you think about the people that exist to complain constantly about how miserable their lives are, or how hard their lives are, you know, maybe they exist in my life for nothing more than to remind me how good I have it. And then I have a life beyond my wildest dreams. I don't know, you know, maybe that's why they exist in my life. Makes me sad that they only see the world for existing in misery um, because I wouldn't want them to see it that way, you know? I know people that have gone through literally extreme tragedy after extreme tragedy after extreme tragedy after extreme tragedy, and they continue to thrive. You know, one of my very dear friends that passed away several years ago, you know, she was a long-term breast cancer survivor. And I remember the day that she got diagnosed with brain, breast cancer, I saw her um, years before, you know, she passed away, and I saw her, and, uh, she wasn't like real sad. And I just was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I can't believe it. And you know what she said to me? She said, for the first time in my life, I can put myself first and I can put everybody else's needs on the back burner. Like it was all about her perspective. And, and this was my friend, Kathy, and I loved her so much. She was just such a, a bright light, you know? And, um, and then she took that time that she had. She didn't make excuses for it, you know? She didn't, you know, squander it. She did things that made her happy, you know? She learned how and went scuba diving and 
she started dressing the way that she wanted to and did, she did things that she wanted to do, you know, and, and still treated people with kindness and compassion because she was always that person, you know. And uh, she hated the word survivor. She would have hated that I said that on here. <laughs> um, she really did. But, um, and she had her own personal reasons for that. But she was just a phenomenal human being, you know. And I can remember her saying that. And um, I think it's all about changing your perspective. You know, changing at how you look at things. So this is my wish for you going into 2023. Whatever you're going through right now, whatever difficult times you're having, whatever maybe tragedies you're having in your life, you know, it's like in Dead Poets Society when he has them all stand on the desk and look at the room in a different way. Maybe stand on the desk and look at them in a different way. Maybe try to change your perspective on why these things are in your life or what you're learning from them or how you can grow as a result of that. Um, we can't help that these things exist in our lives, but we can take lessons from them. We can continue to grow as human beings and hope to be the best versions of ourselves that we can be. And for me, it's like when you learn a language and you go to a foreign country, you're gonna enjoy that foreign country even more, right? So for me, it's like improving yourself and being the best version of yourself is just being able to enjoy life on a daily basis even that much more. And that is my wish for you for 2023. And I love you guys so much. Thanks for being around and hanging with me for this year. And going into 2023, there will be so much more. I love you, and I will see you then.